So before we talk about surface integrals um, of vector fields, um, I want to talk a little bit more about the motivation. So I mentioned a little bit in the first video about flux. Um, so here's a pillowcase. What this is, is um, let's say I have water flowing through here. Uh, pretend water can flow through pillow. Maybe pretend this is a mesh or something where water can flow through it or, or anything flowing through it. Um, charges. Um, wind blowing through it. Yeah, maybe we can think of it as like a COVID mask. <laughs> if I blow through it, um, can the air particles get through? Um, maybe that's not what you should be doing with masks, but uh, not trying to get air particles through anyways. So um, things are going through and the most efficient way to go through is perpendicular to the surface. If I have something going through this way, it gets out the fastest. If I am going like closer, like almost tangent to the surface, then yeah, stuff will still go through, but like that's not the most efficient path. And in fact, if I'm going exactly tangent to the surface, nothing goes through. I could be traveling really quickly this way along the surface and I'm not getting anything out. Um, so for example, um, maybe another thing to think about is heat flow. That's another use of flux. Um, if my heat is flowing along the surface, um, then there's no heat getting in and out of my object, which is great. That's what I want for my house. I want the heat to stay in. It's very cold outside. Um, if the heat goes really quickly perpendicular to the surface, um, then everything will get out. So um, one thing that we want to keep in mind maybe for flux um, is the normal vector of the surface. Um, and we'll do calculations with this um, in the next few videos. Uh, so we want our surface to be able to have a normal vector. And we want it to be nice. Like we don't really want to have a surface and have, because there's two possible normal vectors for every surface, right? We have one pointing this way and one pointing this way. Um, so we want to, first we want to pick which way. So uh, we want to pick an orientation for the surface. Um, next, we want to make sure that we can do that. So we, we have a concept of what we call an orientable surface. Um, sometimes, maybe, if the surface is a weird shape and you pick a normal vector going one way, you come back around and the normal vector is going the other way. Or like you can't make it so that they all point the same way. Because what you don't want is you don't want a surface where the normal vector points this way right here, but then like you go a little bit over here and suddenly the normal vector is pointing this way and then it goes back and there's no rhyme or reason to which way it points. You want, in calculus, we want everything to be continuous. So like that would be a non-continuous situation. Um, okay, so let's, uh, to convince you that this is a useful idea, I'm gonna show you an orientable surface and a non-orientable surface. Um, so, um, a lot of the surfaces we see in our orientable spheres are orientable. You can just kind of pick your normal vector. They're always going out or always going in. That's great. Um, here's a paper strip. I've colored one side red and one side blue. So like maybe we can think about heat flow, like heat leaving this um, little piece of the cylinder that I'm about to make. So if I tape this up this way, and now this is a portion of a cylinder, um, then like blue is cold, so I'm inside, um, and my heat is leaving and going outside. So I can make normal vectors pointing out, and this surface is perfectly fine. Okay, now I have another strip of paper. Um, I've colored, I've started to color it red and blue. So what I would like to do um, is make this the inside, this blue part, and this the outside. But this time, instead of just taping it right here, I'm going to tape it with a half twist. So. Um, Maybe you've seen this surface before. Um, if you haven't, it's called a Mobius strip. Um, so I'm just going to go ahead and tape this. I would recommend you do this too. Find a strip of paper um, or cut out a strip of paper. And then what you're going to do is put a half twist in it and put tape. Here. Okay, so it's this, this kind of funny looking thing. I'm going to put a good amount of tape to make sure that it stays together. Um, I'm going to cut it in later on just for fun. Um, there's a fun demonstration where you can cut this. Okay, so um, here's the, the half that I started to color. The inside was going to be blue and the outside was going to be red. So I'm just going to keep, I know I've made my job harder, but I'm going to keep coloring blue here. So 
you should do this too if you just kind of follow follow the the path of your surface right so um, the inside is now more blue I'm up to here but like what starts to happen is I keep coloring the blue starts showing up on the outside and actually it's so weird so I started on the inside it was blue 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 on the inside now it looks like it's blue on the outside and it actually like met up with my red which was supposed to be my outside and like okay maybe I just did it wrong maybe I'll start with the red and keep going from here so here's where my red started I'm gonna color I'll keep coloring that so I'm trying to make the outside red but what we find is that actually as I continue to color the red this starts to be the inside and it actually meets up with where I started coloring blue so okay that's really weird there's no inside or outside to this if I if I traced my finger along I could go along the whole inside and outside and come back to the beginning I can get this whole surface whereas here I can't do that I can trace my finger along the outside I've never I've never touched the inside of the surface doing that or I could stay on the inside and never touch the outside the Mobius strip doesn't do that what that means though is it's not orientable like if we think of the red as we want the normal vector pointing out and then we think of the blue as we want the normal vector pointing in they're gonna run into problems the red becomes blue always at some point on either the inside or the outside and so um, I can't orient the surface I can't pick a direction for the normal vector and have it be continuous okay and then just for fun this is unrelated but I'm gonna cut this in half so like if I cut this one in half it would be really easy right like I can make a slit and cut it in half I have one little cylinder oh, I didn't tape it very well but um, you know what would happen I would get two cylinders so my, my tape came apart but um, that's that's pretty easy I okay this this I taped better so that won't happen here okay so I'm gonna make a slit I'll do this in the screen this time um, I highly recommend you do this too if you have scissors anywhere in the vicinity so I'm gonna cut just trying to cut it in half and you know we might expect a similar thing as the other one to get two pieces that maybe are both Mobius strips I don't know um, let's see, maybe I have to go to this side cutting in half cutting in half this is this is one piece so that's that's pretty weird um, this is a pretty weird shape um, this is a Mobius strip. I actually have. I'm a big fan of this kind of thing. Um, I have a necklace. Uh, this is a Klein bottle. It's actually this is a three dimensional projection of a Klein bottle. Um, so Klein bottle, uh, you take like what would be a wine bottle, and then if you bend the neck around and then pass it through the surface again, and join it up at the bottom. Um, so you can't actually do that in three dimensions. You can't pass it through and still like make it a smooth surface um, but what you can do is you can realize this surface in four dimensions um, and a Klein bottle is actually just a Mobius strip with the ends glued together like a, a cylinder with the ends glued together if you bent it all the way around is is a donut a Mobius strip with the ends glued together is a Klein bottle and this is a really weird surface um, all right, so I won't uh, talk all day about that, but those are those are examples of non-orientable surfaces. Klein bottle is also non-orientable, um, and you can spend a lot of time studying that if you want to in a field called topology.